beautiful people. I am coming from you. Coming from you. Coming to you. What's up, beautiful people? I am coming to you live from my car because I am about to head to Whole Foods and I'm gonna take you along. We're gonna go grocery shopping. You guys have requested grocery hauls on this channel and I've never done like a long form grocery haul, especially one that I actually take you in the store with me, like this vlog style. So I'm interested to see how you like it. Typically, I would go to Trader Joe's first um, just to get as many things as I could there and then go to Whole Foods just to save a little bit of money. But today, for the sake of this video and time, we're just going to get everything at Whole Foods but go to wherever grocery store your little heart desires. Let's get on the road. I'm pumped. I I'm about to drop a bag, but it's going to be worth it. So let's get into it. It's amazing getting in here. Mm. Gotta get this big mama. We're going to do some damage today. I got my grocery list on my phone. It's an extensive list. It's not always this long. Throughout the week, anytime I'm out of something, I just type it in here so that I have a mission. Otherwise, I will buy everything on impulse and it's not necessary, but okay. It's not every day there's a sale going on at home. <laughs> I get organic as much as I can when it comes to produce. I like these mini cucumbers because every time I get a normal big one, I never eat it all and just throw it away. So these are the best to put in like salmon bowls, avocados, to get the smallest ones I can find because they always go bad. Mm. It takes like 20 minutes. You don't have to film all of this. <laughs> I always look at the back. This is like a tip because the ones that expire soonest are in the front. So dig in the back and you'll find a better date. Um, I'm going to get some spinach and then some shredded lettuce for like taco bowls, things like that. It's just easy to add to anything. Day, but that's okay. We're getting some bananas. I add them to smoothies. I freeze them. I eat them on toast. You really, there's, there's endless possibilities. Okay, let's move on. Hello. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> oh, these are giant. I want it. Can I get the big one? <laughs> uh, Japanese sweet potatoes, best things to ever exist. Obsessed with them. All these potatoes are taking steroids. They're not natural. And they are. They're organic. Let's get them. They're on sale. I'm also getting little potatoes to do smashed potatoes in the air fryer. Good side item. If I was out of pickles, I would get these because this brand of pickles, the only ones I'll eat. Literally phenomenal. Not sponsored, but I wish they would sponsor me. So I'll be the first to tell you that plant-based like alternatives a lot of time have a ton of junk in them. But if you are sensitive to dairy as far as acne goes and things, this brand and this is phenomenal. Just six like, ounce slice? Just like one six ounce slice. Next week when I come back without the cameraman, I'll probably get like get, three or four. Get <laughs> yeah, no, I'll get oh, God, I, got it, got it. I gotta act like I search for the deals. Oh, yeah, smart milk. As far as milk goes, organic raw milk is literally the is phenomenal for you. Unless you have like a local farmer, it's kind of hard to find. Like I said earlier, most dairy free alternatives are honestly so bad for you. But my favorite is this malt. But they're out of it today, of course. So I think I'm probably gonna get this brand which is also a very decent brand because the only ingredients are almonds and water and there's no crazy gums or anything but yeah raw milk the best way to go dairy is not bad for you it's just like the processed nasty dairy that they usually sell with yogurt I really always try for it to be organic and grass-fed um, if you have to pick one or the other just organic but it really matters the quality of your milk I cannot stress that enough a lot of people deal with bloating and breakouts and it's all because they're buying like cheap dairy so invest in some good dairy but obviously we're in an egg shortage and eggs are so expensive um, so I'm not gonna get the organic kind but this brand I recommend eggs are another thing that really matter it matters where you get them so don't skimp out. But well, actually, we probably will never be able to eat eggs because the shortage is getting so bad. We'll probably never eat them again, so get them while you can. Not getting these because I have them at home, but nutritional yeast, so good to add like a cheesy flavor to things. Coconut aminos, also amazing. 
I put them on everything, but we already have some, so I'm not gonna get any today. Rice ramen packets are also amazing. I get them all the time. I have some at home, not getting them, but they're gluten-free and they're so good if you add some coconut aminos, some chicken or beef, and like some stir-fry veggies. So freaking good. Another noodle situation are these miracle noodles. I mean, freaking five calories for this whole pack. They have no flavor. They just take the flavor of what you cook them with. But I like to add this in my salmon bowls and stir fry. Um, and it just kind of beefs up the bowl. So life hack, especially if you're on a cut. Okay, some coconut milk. I have been loving putting this in my coffee, but not like the coconut milk on the dairy shelf. The only ingredients are organic coconut milk and water. So good to put in your coffee because it's a healthy fat. Dang, they only have spicy, but anyways, we're getting this taco seasoning, great brand, everything they make, the chips, everything, check them out. Honey, from my honey. Everything says on sale, but I swear, it's the original price. I guess it's just inflation. I love putting these on my toast, desserts, everything, just so good. For the granola, I usually look at what's on sale, but some of my favorite kinds are this brand, not cinnamon raisin, gross, but this brand is really great. This is also my recent obsession, specifically this flavor. This is my favorite ground beef. It is 100% grass fed. That's what we want. And it's also a leaner cut, which is actually kind of rare to find in ground beef. So always get, if you can, grass fed organic. It actually really matters. You gotta do what you can. Sometimes you can't and that's okay. We're also gonna get some ground turkey probably and some chicken breast. I always get the Applegate oven roasted chicken breast. A lot of deli meat can have a bunch of nasty stuff in it. I like this brand. I like to put it in my omelets, put it on toast, make sandwiches with it. I even eat it plain. It's good. Hey, what can I get for you? Hi, I'm gonna get a pound of the Applegate oven roasted chicken breast. These chips are the best things ever. But I think we have some, so I'm not gonna get them. But they're on sale, so maybe I should get them. Should I get them? He said no. <laughs> Not getting them today. This is the Lord's bread. <laughs> Rice cauliflower just because you can beef up anything with it. So it's always good to have on hand. I love these things. Love to put this on my yogurt bowl. Really great antioxidants. They're just 10 out of 10. Recommend. If you're lazy and in a rush, you just microwave these. They're great. But I'm looking for rice broccoli, but I don't think they have that here. Hey, when they don't have what I want. Walk with me, talk with me. I'm gonna start making a raw carrot salad. You've probably seen the TikTok girlies do it, but it's supposed to be amazing for balancing your hormones. And I'm gonna start eating it every afternoon. It requires one carrot every single day, and then apple cider vinegar and coconut oil. So we're gonna go get those. That's a good price. I think so, the other ones are like $20, so. Do you think coconut oil would taste better with this? Like to make it sweeter? Or olive oil? I wish you guys could answer me. He's like shaking his head no to all of it. We'll go with that. Grass-fed beef jerky, such a good snack when you're on the go. Uh, super filling, literally all protein, basically. This is about to be a trillion dollars. Every time I check out, my ears get hot because I get so anxious. It's like, that'll be $500 for two bags. Okay, that's stupid. <laughs> Cut that out, okay. That's a wrap. We're gonna end it here because it is rainy and dark over there so you wouldn't even be able to see me. I know this was kind of random, but we were just out of a bunch of random little things. Um, if you would like to see a video with more of like my meal ideas and meal inspiration, I can also do that. I'm also planning on doing a lot more like cooking with K recipes in my new apartment because there's a really great kitchen setup. I hope you liked it. Subscribe um, and comment what you want to see from me next. I love you guys and I will see you next week. Mwah.